Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Domi arigato, my sweet babies. It's Destin Choice, and welcome to my second channel. Now today I decided, you know what, I haven't done a mukbang in a while. I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm craving some food. I feel like doing a mukbang. I feel like doing a chill, laid-back video. So I decided, hey, fuck it, you know what? I want to do like a nice little mukbang. You know, I've been craving Chinese food lately. I don't know why, but for some reason I was craving Chinese food. And, mmm. I'm starving. I haven't eaten in six hours. I'm starving. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so scandalous. Mm -hmm. Let me. Mm. Let me see that. Oh. Mm -hmm. But while I'm here eating Chinese food, I want to speak on all the recent stuff that's going on because y'all keep blowing me up, asking me to make a video about Mrs. Rona. Now, I find it interesting how a lot of people are asking me to do a video about it, but I've been silent about it. But a lot of you guys don't realize this. I predicted this shit so many times, and a lot of y'all never caught the hint. And it's honestly insane to me because y'all know how I always be like, the government's trying to kill us, the government's trying to kill us. Be very careful. Make sure y'all take y'all vitamins. Make sure y'all wear this. Make sure y'all eat plenty of this. Make sure you do this. Y'all thought I was just trolling, but I really predicted this shit. I was telling y'all a long time ago that the government is trying to kill y'all. And now look at y'all asses now. Ain't no toilet paper. Ain't no light soul. No paper towels. Mmm. I'm chilling though. Because I have a 106 pack of toilet paper. <laughs> I have a 28 case of Lysol. I have two big ass bottles of alcohol. Mm. And I'm chilling. But not for real. Let me stop fucking with y'all. In reality, I did predict this. I told y'all numerous times that the government's trying to kill us. And it's important to be very, very careful and cautious. But I didn't catch the hint. But let's just be very, very real. In my opinion, I think this virus is man-made. I don't believe that it came from some fucking bats. Because a lot of people believe that it came from the Chinese people eating every fucking thing. Shit, you even had people trying to blame me for the, for, for the fucking Mrs. Rona virus. And I was like, what? You had people pulling up my videos saying, this is why the Rona's going to infect millions because you're eating alligators. And I'm like, fuck you, bitch. First of all, my personal opinion, I think it's so fucked up and wrong for people to say, Oh, it's because Chinese people eat every fucking thing. Do we really want to go there, America? Do you really want to go there, world? First of all, can we be very clear that meat is meat? I don't care if I'm eating a rock ride. I don't care if I'm eating a Pomeranian. I don't care if I'm eating chicken legs. Bitch, I don't care if I'm eating your cat. Meat is meat, in my personal opinion. All meat is equal. You know, do y'all know the definition of meat? Meat means flesh. So technically, you can't try to hold people accountable for eating fucked up animals when in reality, who knows what the fuck be in these animals' mouths. Some of y'all dogs be eating shit. Some of y'all dogs be literally out here licking grass. Who knows whose foot has been on that. So let's not go over here and try to be like, oh, it's because they're eating bats. And then let's talk about the fact, chickens. Chickens are probably one of the most disease-ridden, most infected animals ever. They're being injected with steroids. Cows are constantly being pregnant. Because if you guys didn't know, cows can't even produce milk unless they're pregnant. And it's just like... It's a crazy world right now. Now, let's just be very clear. When it comes to the whole Mrs. Rona virus, I want to give out some tips and advice that a lot of people might want to know. I'm very sorry for a lot of y'all who don't have toilet paper. Can't relate because I have a 106 pack. No offense, though. But I actually stocked up on a lot of things in advance. I don't normally leave my house because I work from home. So I normally stay at home, check emails, write out um, outlines for new videos. I don't normally leave the house because I don't have a reason to. And plus... I ain't got no fucking friends in my damn city. I don't fuck with these bitches. So in reality, I'm always home. So I normally stock up on extra things just in case. I naturally know how to prepare myself. For example, I have a 28 can of Lysol that I've had since... Shit, I don't fucking know. November? I have a 106 pack of toilet paper and I have like 80 left. And I've had that shit since like 
November, literally way before this whole, you know, Corona stuff even happened. Now, let's be very clear. I'm very tired of all the xenophobia going on because I know there's been a lot of disrespect towards the Asian community, and I'm not feeling that at all. And especially because of the fact that I've been seeing a lot of our videos, I've been hearing a lot of evil stories. Against certain groups of people, officials pointing to this incident on a subway train. A man sprays a subway rider who is Asian with air freshener. People, police now are searching for the suspect in this video as leaders call for action to stop this kind of discrimination. In one extreme case, an exchange student from Singapore was attacked by four people in London. There's the outcome, leaving him with a black eye and under other injuries. They blamed him for spreading the coronavirus. Sorry. Witness something like this, there are resources available and we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up in the next half hour. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Jacqueline, thanks a lot. Shouting at me and my friend Lucy here, we're walking together, saying, hey, coronavirus, and they do the gesture covering their nose and their mouth with the color of their shirt, and they're laughing out loud. Private message sent to our Facebook page. Um, the disgusting barbaric animal cruelty you people do, you deserve to get the virus. Just a ton of nonsense. You know, one couple even said that they were, they, they were mean mugged in a grocery store. And I'm like, this is so fucking evil. This reminds me of how people treat the Middle Easterns in the airport. Oh my God. Have y'all ever seen how people who wear head wraps, like people who wear hijabs in general, like people who wear hijabs and other um, cultural head wraps or religious head wraps. You see how, the way they're treated in the airport is what I'm seeing that happen to the Asian community. I've seen, I'm seeing Asians record their experiences being racially profiled, and I'm just like, well, damn, this is crazy, but now y'all know how niggas feel. But in reality, I don't want anyone coming out here telling me, why are you sticking up for Asians? They wouldn't stick up for you. Please, let's not generalize an entire group of Asians just because they don't, as a whole, stick up for the black community. Let's just be very clear. When it comes to this whole xenophobia shit and this whole prejudice behavior towards them, mean mugging them, looking at them dirty, please understand that the whole world isn't from fucking China. There's Koreans, there's Japanese, there's Thai people, there's Vietnamese people. Shit, there's even Indians. Indians, India is in Asia. So let's be realistic here and not disrespect all these fucking um, Chinese people and Asian people in general. When in reality, half the shit some of y'all own is from China. But I'm going to get into that in a little bit. First things first, I'm going to give y'all a list of advice and tips that I have. This was literally to get y'all attention and now that I have your attention... Here's a nice little tip and rundown of what I think you guys should do. For those of you guys who don't have toilet paper, this is what I suggest. So, everyone is shopping at Walmart, Target, Ralph's, um, Costco's. The, every, what, wherever you live, whatever country you stay in, y'all know the major grocery store? Yes, everybody's going to shop there because there's Rona stuff. This Rona stuff is global now. Literally, I thought Madagascar was one of the few countries who didn't have it. Madagascar three days ago just had their first case of it. Then there's um, South Africa. They didn't have that many cases at first, but now there's like several cases. And, you know, I've seen the, the, the amount of people who have passed go from 7,000 to 16,000 as of now when I'm recording this video. And it's insane. Now, a lot of y'all don't understand, but whenever stuff like this happens, fear mongling starts happening and people start panicking. And what happens when people panic? People get stupid and desperate. For example, y'all ever seen the movie The Purge? When people... When people were in, were scared for their lives and rules were literally not condemnable and not deplorable, everybody went fucking insane, locked their doors, bought a shit ton of food. For example, let's use a real life event. Y'all remember Y2K? If y'all know Y2K, for those y'all who are too young, Y2K is an acronym for year 2000. And everybody thought on the year 2000, the world was going to end. There's nothing going to happen. What are you basing that on? Nobody knows. No one. He wasn't alone. On the eve of Y2K, the year 2000. <laughs> People rush grocery stores. I'd say 30,000 flashlights in the last uh, month. Bought supplies, water, and gas. Are you filling up your car because of Y2K? Not at all. Not worried. <laughs> Why are you filling up your car? Out of gas. That guy wasn't, but plenty were on edge. With the world more computer-reliant than ever before, experts theorized doomsday scenarios when technology rang in the new year, and zeros and ones of binary code saw nothing but zero zero. Would time run out on civilization? Their surplus military generators we brought in uh, just in case uh, power goes down on uh, January 1st. Outages. And there was one type of story that topped the rest. Those who prepped, like Todd's family. You know, we're average everyday folk that, you know, are a little concerned and we're not going to depend on somebody else. 
to take care of us if something does happen. Everybody thought in the year 2000 the world was going to end, but in reality the world didn't end. In fact, a lot of people went insane and thought planes were going to fall out of the sky because there was a huge rumor and a hoax that planes were going to fly out of the sky and crash down. It was just a huge mess. And guess what? People went crazy. People fear mongered. People bought out stores. It was a mess. And guess what? Nothing happened. So this is, some, this is the same thing that's happening right now. People are fear mongering and fear buying. I don't know why people need like 50 fucking rolls of toilet paper. It makes no fucking sense. I hate the fact that people are buying like 8, 10 packs of toilet paper. It makes no sense. I'm different though. I stocked up beforehand, okay? So I, I'm hoarding, but I'm hoarding because I prepared ahead of time before I even knew this shit was even like, like coming, coming like this hard. So, yeah. So one thing that I really suggest everybody do is I really want everybody to um go shopping at the Asian slash Korean or Mexican Mars. Now I know some of y'all gonna say, why would I shop at the Asian Mars? Go to H Mart. I'm, and I don't want to hear, oh, they don't have one nearby. Yes, they do. Within a 5, 10, 15 mile radius, I'm sure you could find an Asian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Thai grocery store near you. Everybody has one. You have one in Trinidad. You have one in the Bahamas. You have one in Nigeria. You have so many of them. Go to them. Buy as much stuff as you can because those are one of the few places that aren't all like all like aren't empty. Like when you go to Walmart right now, you see shelves are empty. Like damn, bitch, we came to at least get some bread, bitch. Ain't no bread, ho. Wow. All right. All right. But they got little bites. <laughs> But, what people aren't thinking is, go to the Asian marts. Because everybody's prejudiced and racist. Not everybody's racist, but a lot of people are prejudiced. And a lot of people are questionable. Not everybody, but some people are. And guess what? Though some people would never think to go to the Korean marts or the Asian marts to go buy toilet paper or disinfectant or alcohol because they're xenophobic, prejudice. And guess what? The Asians are Stocked up on stocked up on stocked up with paper towels, toilet paper, and disinfectant. Think about that. Please don't think, oh, well, their shit comes from China. <sighs> Every time I hear that, because I, I, I suggested it on Twitter, you, you'd be surprised at a lot of the replies that I got. Everything comes from fucking China. The chair you're sitting on, the bed frame you're laying on, the pissy ass air mattress you're on. Okay, your tampons, your pads, literally almost everything you can think of, your toothbrushes, your condoms, literally everything comes from China. Everything comes from China. Turn your TV around, look at the back, engrave, China. Oh my God, the coronavirus is crawling around your house. You see where I'm coming from here? So please don't come out here with that whole, oh, that shit probably comes from China when everything comes from China and people don't understand that. But yet they don't want to shop at these Korean marts or these Asian marts, but hey, if you want to be stupid, go for it. If not... You don't want to take the risk? Hey, you go to a Latino Mart. You'll find everything you need, trust me. Those people are begging for business, looking for business. Most grocery stores are shutting down early. They're wide open. I know ramen noodles aren't good for you. A lot of people don't like them because they're high in sodium. So here's my suggestion. You go to the store and boom, all the ramen is gone. Right? Because it's affordable and you can get a lot of it for like $50, right? Guess what? A lot of it is gone if you live in a big city. A lot of it is gone if you get to the grocery store. Here's what you do. You go to an Asian, an Asian supermarket or Korean supermarket, whatever supermarket that's a forward supermarket and get your ramen there. I got like 10 packs of ramen. I don't even eat ramen anymore because I know ramen's bad for you when it's high in sodium. But I, I got like literally 11 packs of ramen because I knew it would be sold out at the Walmart. Their fear has pretty much clouded their thinking. And I feel really bad people have lost their jobs. But one thing that I really hope everybody understands is it's always important to save money. I know it's very hard for a lot of y'all to save money because some of y'all don't have a lot of money. Some of y'all aren't in jobs that don't pay much. Some of y'all only work like two, three times a week because you're full-time parents. A lot of stuff comes in this why a lot of people can't save. But everybody has the resources to save. For example, when you're going shopping, take out $5 cash back. Take back $10 cash back. Do that every month for the past year. And you'd be surprised how much you could save. Do that every time you go grocery shopping. Do that every time you go to the store. You can save a lot. 
Everybody has an opportunity to save a little bit. You can even save 5% of your paycheck because you never know when you need money for a rainy day. Luckily, I'm blessed enough to where I've managed my money good enough to where I have a lot saved. So if anything were to crash or anything were to go downhill for me as far as, you know, social media, I would still be good probably for the rest of the year because I've managed to save up a lot of money. Another thing I want everyone to do is buy a radio. There's an ongoing conspiracy going on that a lot of people, a lot of people are basically predicting that the whole, you know, the, gov the governor and all that across all over the world are going to team up and shut down the internet. Let that sink in. Imagine what the world would be without the internet. There's been a lot of people predicting it. A lot of conspiracy theorists have been predicting it. There's a chance that he could shut down the internet. And please be mindful that if they shut down the internet, a lot of y'all will not have access to news. A lot of y'all won't have access to entertainment, Netflix, a lot of that stuff. Because guess what? There's an ongoing rumor going around that they're shutting off the internet because there's a huge ton of false information, a ton of narratives that if they shut off the internet, control the blogs and the media, they can shift the narrative. But that's just what um, I'm assuming. Don't take my word for it. But I'm recommending everybody buy a radio so that way you can always stay updated with the news. Get one that's battery powered. Also, y'all, get a water filter because let's say the water system gets contaminated. Let's say somebody does some fuck shit in the water. Boom. Your water's contaminated and you can get sick. Please understand that if you get a water filter, it'll literally filter out the chlorine and any other nasty things that you don't want in your water. So buy one, you can get one on Amazon for like $30. Those, 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 that's literally one of the few things that's not sold out at all. Another thing I recommend y'all buy is trail mix. Believe me when I tell you, trail mix is never, ever sold out. I literally ordered like nine cases of trail mix. I'm chilling. I'm not worried about food or nothing. Trail mix is good for you. Trail mix is like has a lot of health benefits. The one thing about Walmart is everything is so expensive in there. Everything is so expensive in all these retail stores. Everything is so expensive in all these farmers market. But if you go to the Korean Mart, a lot of their stuff is actually organic. A lot of Asian people eat organic food, organic herbal teas, organic spinach, organic salads. I bought a whole thing of sweet onions. It's a whole thing. I wouldn't have found that shit at Walmart. So please shop smart and not hard. Everybody's going insane, fear mongling, buying all this bullshit. But they don't realize that all the stuff that you're looking for is right under your nose. Fear mongering has been around for a very long time. People get desperate, especially people with kids. But be mindful that the more you panic, the worse it gets. I also want to mention how I want everybody to understand that when it comes to buying things, please don't put like fucking 15 things of toilet paper. You don't need that much damn toilet paper, okay? Get like three packs. Get a 20 pack. Enough to last you and your family three weeks. Get so basically get get three, four packs or whatever, whatever, whatever you know can last about three weeks, because it's way too ridiculous how people are literally buying everything. It makes no sense. Also, one thing I also want to recommend y'all invest in stocks. Right now is the perfect time to invest in stocks. People don't realize the importance of stocks. I know it sounds insane and all this math and shit and all this stock work seems nerdy and. A lot of people don't even care to hear about it because it's too much. And a lot of people are interested, but don't feel like doing the research. I've had several people email me, hit me up, tell me, hey, can you do me a favor? Tell me how to invest in stocks. Teach me more. And I'm like, look, there's only so much I can teach you. Everyone has resources to go on Eventbrite or go online and look up local workshops to where you can sit in and learn more about stocks. There's books everywhere about stocks. There's YouTube videos about it. I'm not going to sit here and explain what to do with stocks. All I'm going to say is... Learn about it. Invest. It's very important because right now stocks are down like 40 to 60 percent and they're down now. But guess what? If you invest now, they'll blow up. So I have a friend who literally invested in Pampers, a, a, a friend who invested into um, Carter's, a friend who invested into um, school supply, a school supply, someone who I, I even invested into um, Clorox. Like I invested into a lot of different things. I, I There's a ton of list of things. But long story short... Stocks can go from like 20 cents to like thousands of dollars. So everyone has enough money to invest into stocks. Invest in things that you believe in that you know will blow up. Right now, a lot of people are saying that things involving spacecraft, asteroid mining are going to blow up. Bitcoin, if you guys have the, resor the resources or whatever you have, invest it into Bitcoin. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Bitcoin is. It doesn't even need an introduction. But y'all know back in 2017, Bitcoin exploded and that shit was worth like... That shit was worth like 
$250,000 back in um, 2016, and it blew up, and a lot of people got rich off of it. Then celebrities started investing into it, and everybody started buying several shares of it, and the people became millionaires. It was insane. But you don't have to buy the whole thing. You don't have to buy thousands and thousands upon dollars of it. You could literally put $200 aside, invest in it, and then boom, in three years, that shit, that $300 you invested could turn into like, 50 grand. And please understand, stock is not a get rich quick scheme. I'm not going to get too much into stocks, but you can't just say, okay, I'm going to invest in the stocks and then I'm going to hope to get rich like in the next two months. It doesn't work like that. Stocks are something that you need to like put money aside, invest into, and then boom, five years from now, you can look back and maybe it explodes or even 10 years from now. But stocks is where you put your money somewhere, you let it sit, and if it blows up in, in profit, then you can go back to it. It could take a year, it could take two years, it could take 10 years, it could take 15 years, but all you really need to do is be patient when it comes to stocks, okay? Stocks are not a get rich, get rich quick scheme. You need to be very patient, you need to be very smart about where you put your money. But Bitcoin is one of those stocks where I recommend everybody invest in. You don't have to buy the whole thing. You could, you, you could invest, right now Bitcoin is up $6,000. You could literally put like $100 in Bitcoin, and then that $100 can turn into like eight grand in like five years. So I recommend doing it. You just never know. Also, a lot of y'all don't have toilet paper. One thing I recommend that a lot of people aren't thinking of, please, y'all, buy some Kleenex. I don't want anyone coming out here saying, that's ghetto, that's gross, that's weird. Listen, you ain't too good to wipe your ass with Kleenex, okay? I grew up pole as fuck. We was po, so I had to use Kleenex. There was even this one time where I literally had to use like a rag, like get a rag, wash it up with soap, wipe my ass with that because we had no fucking toilet paper at the time and we would go weeks without toilet paper until my fucking mom got paid. So it was just like, you have to understand that just because you're, just because you're, you feel like you're too good to wipe your ass with Kleenex, you're not too good to sit your ass around and not even wipe your ass at all. So please understand that it doesn't hurt to invest into Kleenex. Kleenex is a great source to use if you want to wipe yourself because toilet paper is at an all-time low right now. And it's insane how I could literally go inside one of them stores and sleep on them bitches like a bunk bed. It makes no fucking sense. So buy some Kleenex. That's one of the few things that's not sold out. And <laughs> people are not thinking of that. Also, y'all, please, for the love of God, buy some card games. Buy some board games. I know some of you young kids are going to sit up here and say, Oh, no, I'll just go on my phone. Let's say the internet shuts off. Let's say your Wi-Fi shuts off. Let's say one of your charges break. You got to buy some board games. Buy some board games that encourage positive thinking. There's board games that encourage positive outlooks. There's motivational board games that have motivational cards. There's so many things that... There's so many type of board games and card games that y'all can buy. Invest in one. And please, try to pursue a hobby. If you've ever always wanted to be an actor, put out some monologues, read a script, write your own script. You ever wanted to write a book? You ever wanted to make a cookbook? Start typing it up right now. You ever wanted to learn how to do your own taxes? Do research, learn how to do it. If there's other things you ever you always want to do, you always want to learn how to bake, you've always said you didn't have time to do yoga, go on YouTube, watch YouTube videos on yoga. Invest into doing other things. Don't just sit around and be bored and use your phone. That's pretty toxic. Try to do something productive with your time. If you're not at work and you're not at school, I feel really bad for my college students because I know a lot of y'all are doing online classes right now and it must be terrible because y'all ain't learning shit. Literally just being behind a computer. Like it's being back in high school all over again. Like you're not learning shit being behind a computer, being behind a robot, not learning anything. And it's sad. And it's even terrible because I'm hearing people are losing their job. Like we got people who work in corporate, you got people who work at Planet Fitness, work at all these places. And they're struggling because they got to, they got to, they either one, they have to come to work, they're not getting paid days off, or they're in a position where their pay is getting cut because a lot of these companies don't want to pay them as much because they're going through this whole coronavirus shit and a lot of companies are losing money and it's terrible. So yeah, it is not a good situation right now. It's going to get very serious. Allegedly, Trump is saying that things won't get better until August. And I'm also hearing rumors, conspiracy theorists, and a lot of people who are speculating, claiming that if this shit doesn't clear up by April, there's a possibility that kids are going to miss prom, kids are going to miss graduation. Not only that, kids 
are going to have to start school in January. Yikes, this is insane. Look at the world we live in. Maybe I won't ever have kids. Maybe I'm not going to adopt kids. But this is a crazy world to bring kids in. I feel bad for y'all parent for the parents because, you know, kids are young. They don't know what's going on at all. You know, they see social media. They see the news. And they're assuming that everybody's going to die. I mean, shit, everybody is going to die. But social media is just making things worse. And there's so much fake news out there. One thing I really want to address is how people are literally saying, black people can't get it. Not at all. It's, a, it's fake. You think it's an agenda? Man, I don't think minorities can't catch it. We sure. They say, say that one no. more time. Minorities can't catch it. Minorities can't catch us. Nah. Why do you that? say? Why do you believe Name that? Name one. I don't know, but it could <laughs> happen. <laughs> Name one, though. It could happen. Name one if of us. If it hasn't happened, it could happen. You know, we all like descended that. from the same person. I don't believe that. Now, we, I don't did know. we catch it? I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to... Like, Didn't it hit Atlanta recently? Yeah. No, it hit the people passing through our airport. Got it. Okay. It ain't touched them soul food, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't even like the word minority because I feel like, are we really the minority? Or... No, we're the majority exactly. at this point. Exactly, so that's what I'm saying. <sighs> where has this world come to to where people are literally believing things that walk a flock and says? People are saying minorities can't get it, Latinos can't get it. And then guess what? It was just Albert tested positive for it, and we still haven't gotten an update about his health. The basketball player got it. Still haven't gotten an update about their health. So please fucking calm down with that whole, oh, I, I want to know if we're immune to it. Melanin doesn't make you immune to a fucking virus. And please stop thinking that there's going to be a cure. There's no such thing as curing a virus. You can only get a vaccine. And you want to know something even crazier? In America in particular, the vaccine is not going to fucking cover insurance. Like, insurance is not going to pay for the vaccine, which is even fucking terrible. Mm. A lot of people are even saying, in America in particular, that there's a possibility that we might enter martial law. <sighs> I really should have got a gun. But long story short, if you guys don't know what martial law is, martial law is basically when... It's basically like North Korea. If you walk out your house and they tell you, get your ass back inside, bitch, and you say, no... They're basically going to bust a cap in your ass. Let's just put it that way. So that was what could possibly happen in America, where the government and the military is going to be everywhere, and they're going to make sure that no one leaves their house, because this is serious. Now, one thing that's really scary about this whole situation is a lot of parents out there don't have diapers, baby wipe, lotion. It is an overall mess. But I hope everybody takes this as a lesson that it's always important to prepare because I'm sure y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all ever read this book. I think it's called The Grasshopper and the Ant or some shit like that. But basically, it's always important to prepare because you never know what could happen. Also, it's not, it's not difficult to buy a whole bunch of cans and to put it in your garage or put cans in your, under your bed. It's always important to prepare for the future. Don't just buy a certain amount of food and then be good for like the week or two. No, you gotta buy a lump sum of food for emergencies because you always gotta think ahead of time. Stop with that, I'm gonna go with the flow shit. That doesn't fly. Also, saving money is very important. I, I know a lot of people don't believe in saving money because they wanna go with the flow. No, 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 no. If you could save even $2 per paycheck, do it, do it, do it. You never know because you're gonna be, you're gonna be in a position where one of those days, you're only gonna have like 50 cents in your account. And you're going to be thinking, oh shit, I have no food. My friends don't have no food. My family don't have no food. My kids don't have no food. And guess what? You could have easily saved $2, put it off to the side, and boom, you would have been good. And I know a lot of people struggle with saving because saving, trust me, they do not teach us that shit in school. We all have to learn the hard way that saving is important. I want everyone to know that they sell these things on Amazon. They're called titanium safes. Where basically, money only goes in and money doesn't come out. It forces you to save. I have one and basically... I can't touch it, can't get into it, and it's literally right there. It's somewhere in my house. I basically, every time I go grocery shopping, for the past year, I've been taking $20 out, and I've basically been sliding money in. So every time I go grocery shopping, I do cash back for $20 or $40, and I've been doing that for like 10 months. And I slide it into the little thing, and then I put the safe somewhere safe. That shit works. Because there are days where I just be like, mmm... Hmm, that safe looking kind of heavy, but then I'm like, you know what? That's me saving for my future. That's money that I can't get into. And I know a lot of people are gonna be saying, well, how do I get into it when I need the, need the money? 
That's for you to figure out when you really need that money. You, you see, you get what I'm saying? That's for you to figure out when you really get that money. So if you have trouble saving, get this safe right here, slide money in there, and when it's a real, real emergency, you'll figure out. You'll figure out where to drill a hole in it, hammer, you'll figure it out. But that's a good way to save money if you have really, really, a really hard time saving money, okay? There's plenty of resources out there. We all got the same time of the day. There's 168 hours in a week, 24 hours in a day. There's a lot you can do. What's even more shocking is people are still going to South Beach. People are still out here going to the clubs, strip clubs, all of that. And I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted that people still want to spring break. Now, I'm not going to get upset at them because spring break, going to Miami, going to Panama City Beach, going to, going to anywhere where there's a beach, I don't blame people. Because it's one of those things where a lot of people bought their Airbnbs, a lot of people already rented their cars, a lot of people already invested so much money to go into these trips, they're not going to let a virus stop them. Go there. Go to a mom and pop grocery store and try to stock up on them. There's a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of places you can shop. And there's a lot of things you can do to, to invest your time into. Maybe now this is the time. Maybe this is the universe trying to tell everybody, or if you're religious, to tell everybody. Playtime is over, bitch. It's time to sit in your house, sit in your room, and think about what the fuck you've done. Reflect your life, write a long list of things that you can do to improve your life. Shit, buy a vision board online. Put a vision board on your wall. Print out pieces of paper, cut them out, staple them to your damn vision board, and basically try to manifest all the things you've always wanted in your life. Do you want your degree? Do you want to start school? Do you want to try for another kid? Do you want to... I don't fucking know. Do you want to find the cure for, for the fucking Rona? I don't fucking know. But put a lot of things in your vision that you want to achieve in the year. It's crazy how this is all going on. And this is a crazy way to start the decade. Because 10 years ago, I don't think any of us would have predicted this. But I want everybody to use their time wisely. Because best believe, 10 years ago, a lot of us were probably in way different situations. A lot of us were in horrible situations. For example, tell me where y'all were in, in the comments down below. Where y'all were a decade ago. Where were y'all in 2010 around this time? Because I know where I was. And I was definitely not happy. So please be mindful. That when it comes to situations like this, don't look at it as something negative. Like, Ugh, can't go out, Ugh, can't go to work, don't know what to do with my time. I'll just scroll through the internet. No, use your time wisely and try to invest it into being a better person. Now, I know some people are going to click on this video and the whole comment section is going to be full of a whole bunch of funny jokes. Like, ah, oh, you're eating Chinese food, you're going to get corona. Like, listen, the real ones who actually stood by and watched this video will understand that a lot of tips I'm giving are worthwhile. So, buy a radio. In case they shut down the internet, go to the Korean or Latino marts, buy some trail mix, buy some foreign cookies, some foreign chips, some foreign snacks, meats, all that. Like a lot of that stuff, you'll find in foreign marts, and they're looking and they're looking for business. Cause best believe a lot of these small businesses, these mom and pop shops, a black owned, you know, um, family market, supermarket. A lot of these places are looking for business, but a lot of y'all going to Walmart, Target, all these big places where they have everything, but don't realize. That all the good shit is probably 0 0.3 miles away from your house. All these little marts, these foreign marts that y'all ain't going to, are like right around the corner from your house. Also, one thing I also want to recommend, please y'all, buy some sea moss. Buy some moringa, buy some maca powder, buy some spirinella. If you guys haven't heard of it, um, what's the other thing called? Um, black seed oil. Buy these things. These are called sell foods black seed oil ingest it drink it add it to what you're cooking add it to what you're eating take a tablespoon of black seed oil every day i promise you guys it'll boost your immune system we have way too many people out here with weak immune systems and that makes you vulnerable to the viruses let me tell you something i don't mean to brag but i haven't gotten sick in 10 months and i'm not exaggerating i make sure to ingest a tablespoon of black seed oil every day I also eat sea moss. If you guys didn't know, sea moss is a plant that grows in all parts of Africa. It's a golden plant. Basically, people grind it up in a blender, let it soak in water, and then it goes through a chemical process naturally, and it turns into gel. Consume it. It has over 72 minerals, 18 different vitamins. It has natural copper, natural magnesium, natural zinc, natural iron, it has, um, what's the other shit called? It has iodine in it. It has thyroid health in it. It has things that boost your thyroid health. 
a lot of women out there don't have healthy thyroids. If you need a solution rather than getting a whole bunch of medication, buy some sea moss. It's a very powerful, underrated plant that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of y'all keep missing this, but I have a link in my description down below to where I get my sea moss. You don't even have to get the ones I get. You can you can buy the official plant. You can take it in capsules on Amazon. You can go to your local store, try to find it. You can go online. Because I know a lot of y'all don't have sea moss in your country. You can go on any website in your country, find sea moss. I'm sure you'll find some. Very popular. It goes all over the world. It grows in parts of a part part it grows in parts of the Atlantic. It goes in a lot of parts of the world, but a lot of people don't talk about it because it's a superfood. It's a superfood, it's a cell food, it helps your cells rapidly grow and it boosts your immune system naturally. It's in, it's amazing. I haven't gotten sick and I've been eating it for 10 months. And guess what? It's also good for high blood pressure, high blood sugar, it's also good for lowering your appetite. So for me, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I don't eat a lot of this food. A lot of my food will get wrapped up in aluminum foil, thrown in the fridge, and it'll take me like a week to get all this food done. Moringa is also a very powerful thing you can get. It's basically, Moringa is a, is a tree in India. And basically, this tree in India grows these very powerful leaves that have like this strong, grassy smell. And basically, they take the leaves, they grind them up into a powder for weeks, and then basically put it into a bag. And it's a superfood. Those leaves have been proven to lower blood sugar. Those leaves have been have been proven to help people who have arthritis. Those leaves and the powder has been proven to help people who have um, bad anxiety. It's incredible. So basically, you put a tablespoon in your smoothies and boom, you're good. Moringa is a very powerful plant and has been proven to reverse diabetes as well. In some cases, not all cases, but in a few cases, yes. So please invest in some sea moss, invest in some moringa. If you don't want to do that, Invest into maca powder. Maca powder is a very powerful plant that helps people who have bad thyroid health, especially women. A lot of women who have profuse periods, things like maca powder can help you. So all these damn pills and vitamins and shit that the world is trying to market to y'all, just eat some maca powder. Maca powder comes from a plant that grows on the earth. It's natural. They grind it up into a powder. Boom. You take one scoop and put it in your smoothies. Or, or you eat it raw and chase down some water, and boom, you're literally healthy as fuck, and you get all the vitamins you need within a week span. Increase your immune system, and also back to fruit. Let's talk about fruit. One of the few things that I, I think I can speak for everybody, fruit is one of the few things that's not sold out. You go to the store, bananas are still pretty much there. There might be some missing, but uh, there might be a few there. Watermelons, stocked up, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Kiwis, cantaloupes, all these things are stocked up. But you know why people aren't buying them? People aren't buying a lot of these fruits because they're thinking, man, fruit gonna go bad. The fruit gonna go bad. I'm not buying. There's no point. But guess what? If you buy some fruit, you can actually put it in the freezer. Y'all didn't realize that. And it's crazy because whenever I go to the freezer section in Walmart, I went to Walmart recently. I went to the freezer section. Tell me why all the bad fruit was gone. The frozen fruit that was already frozen is gone. But the fruit that's fresh it's <laughs> still there. People don't realize that you can actually cut up your fruit or you can just throw the whole thing in the freezer. Look at my freezer. I threw my bananas in there. I threw my strawberries in there. I threw my blueberries in there. And shit, I bet when I go back to Walmart again, there's still going to be more fruits there so I can make my smoothies, mix it up with my sea moss, mix it up with my moringa, mix it up with my superfood, put my black seed oil up in there, and I'm chilling. And guess what? A lot of people don't realize that, but fruit is a big part of, of how you can boost your immune system. And people don't realize that fruit can last months in your freezer. Yikes. Pretty scary what panic does to people. People aren't thinking smart. People aren't shopping smart. People are making drastic corporate decisions. People are buying a bunch of cakes, pies, and lollipops for their kids to last them weeks for when they... No, you need to be teaching your kids it's important to boost their immune system. So please don't invest in these pies, cakes. Invest in things like honey. Also, there's raw honey that you can take. Take a tablespoon of raw honey. It has tons of health benefits. Um. Black seed oil is, the, is all though what I do recommend. A lot of y'all don't have access to sea moss. A lot of y'all don't have access to moringa in your country. If you live out of the, if you live out of the U.S., you can find um, things like um, sea moss and moringa, obviously in the U.S. Or if you're lucky, you can find it online if you're out of the country. One of the one things that I know everybody can find all over the world is black seed oil. It's a very popular way that a lot of people heal diseases. It's a very popular way that a lot of people heal their immune system. It's a very popular way that a lot of people detox themselves. Take it. Ingest as much of it as you can. Ingest as much black seed oil as you can. 
I know I'm repeating myself, which I need to understand that your immune system right now is going to be attacked by viruses or the flu or tons of other things if you don't boost it up. If your immune system is strong, it can fight out all these things. Some of you might look at me and say, well, I don't take advice from somebody who's probably morbidly obese. Some of y'all be thinking I'm out here eating chips and cupcakes all the time. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm drinking tons of water. I'm going on constant water fast. Or I'm eating constant things that are low. Or I'm, I'm always um, incorporating healthy things into my diet. So please be mindful that your immune system is at risk right now. And if you're not doing everything you can to boost it, you're only a liability to yourself. So yeah, I just have to try to get y'all attention. Because I know if I title this some shit like, oh, um, salad mukbang, y'all wouldn't have clicked on it. Or if I titled this some shit like, my thoughts on the road from Miss Rona, a lot of y'all would probably just be like, I don't care. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. Because we're all tired of hearing about it. Every time we all wake up, we're hearing about it. Every time we go on social media, we're hearing about it. Every time we go on Twitter, we're hearing about it. And it's so annoying because you got bitches who are making fucking dances to it. It's annoying. People are legit making dances to this bullshit. How dumb do y'all look? This is something serious. People are going to die. People are going to die. 16,000 de 16, deaths already. A damn shame. Social media just really needs to entertain themselves. So I understand why there's like a dance and shit. Because social media is a way to entertain themselves. I understand it. But please understand that while you're laughing at all these people... A lot of these rich people and these celebs who are starting these damn songs and are starting these damn trends, making jokes about it. A lot of them are fully stocked up or in on this bullshit too. Let's just say that when it comes to all of what's going on, it's not okay to disrespect Asians. It's very important that you shop for trail mix, freeze your fruit, buy all these superfoods and these self foods that boosts your immune system by all these things, okay? Because while y'all are out here eating capes, cookies, and all these unhealthy things, or while y'all are out here, you know, of course, you know, of course, I can't knock people for eating unhealthy because there's not much food out there, but there's plenty of fruits out there too. While a lot of y'all are out here not taking it seriously, some of y'all gonna sit up here and say, oh, we'll be fine. Eh, it only attacks the black, I mean black, or only attacks, um, attacks um, old people, or only attacks so-and-so, or it's not going to attack black people, or it's not going to attack minorities, blah, 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 like all this stupid-ass cringy shit a lot of y'all are saying. Please be mindful that there are people who are losing their grandparents, people who are losing their siblings, people who are losing their loved ones over a virus. And guess what? Those same people who, those, those same people who probably thought like you are probably victims of it right now. And guess what? A lot of y'all could probably have it and wouldn't even know. Because right now, a lot of hospitals aren't even testing everybody for it. And what makes it even more terrible, this is a global thing. At first, a lot of us thought, this is just in China, this is just in Europe. But then guess what? It came to America. And then it went over to Africa. A lot of people didn't think it was spread to Africa, but it did. So, stay woke. And stop listening to these weak-ass fucking watch the rappers like walk a flock of flame. Talking about some minorities can't get the fuck out of here, man. Like, this is a crazy world we live in right now. Crazy times we live in. I know a lot of y'all right now are on curfews. Places like New York, New Jersey, places like LA. A lot of y'all don't give a fuck that y'all are on curfews. It's really sad. But shit is real. A lot of this is not a joke. So stop with the whole, you're eating Chinese food. The phone you're using to watch this comes from China. Hmm. Okay, the couch you're sitting on, the condoms you use, that cheap ass pissy air mattress y'all are laying on, it comes from China. Okay, don't knock me for eating Chinese food. Okay, so yeah. Oh. I took a thumbnail, I forgot. One bite. Oh, shit.
Mm. Okay, <clears throat> my camera's about to die. I'm just sitting here long enough. Mm. Get a radio, get some battery powered fans, okay? Get a water filter, prepare. Another thing I forgot to mention, a lot of y'all don't have cleaning supplies, which I completely understand. I really want y'all to understand that a lot of the big names like Pine Soul, Fabulosa, Clorox, those are sold out, obviously. Spick and Span, for a lot of my kids out there, a lot of y'all don't know this, but this was a very popular cleaner in the 1970s and the 1960s. A lot of people used this. They mixed it with hot water and a mop bucket, put the Spick and Span powder, and boom, that's what they used to clean the floors. It smells great, it's cheap as hell, and it's not sold out on Amazon or anywhere. You can probably find it if you go to an old school supermarket. You can probably find it if you go online. Spick and Span is something you can use. Sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. A lot of y'all can't find any, which I understand. You can make your own. If you have access to aloe vera gel and you have access to alcohol, mix up some aloe vera gel and some alcohol. Shake it up. Mix it together. Boom. Hand sanitizer. Or here's another way you can, you can get some sanitizer. A lot of people don't know this, but tea tree oil is also a form of disinfectant. Yes, get some tea tree oil, get a spray bottle. I'm sure a lot of y'all got one. Fill the, fill, the, fill the spray bottle with a little bit of water. Put like 12, 20 drops of tea tree, tea tree. Spray your hands, rub them together. Boom, disinfectant. People don't know that. Tea tree oil is another form of disinfectant. Buy some. It's not sold out. Shockingly, see, gotta shop smart. A lot of people don't know this, and guess what? Fear makes people stupid. There's a lot of stupid people out there, and guess what? A lot of y'all wouldn't last a week in a zombie apocalypse. A lot of y'all wouldn't last. Y'all would die, and I would live. But yeah, just to make shit clear, it's Chinese food. Leave the Chinese alone. Their food is not gonna make me sick. Everything comes from China. Be safe. Be smart. Be wise. Buy some Kleenex, like I said, if you have no toilet paper, and invest in tea tree oil. Two important necess alternative necessities. So, yeah. That was that for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts in the comment section down below. Mm, yeah, that's that. Stay safe, shop smart, and comment what videos I want to see next. Because I have plenty of time on my hands to do videos now. So yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. I mean, this is my second channel. Bye. Who's in your bed? Who's That's all the words I know. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram and that's all you get for free.